Welcome to Lawfold's Farm, episode 36, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Guess what? I'm still waiting on poplars. <coughs> There's a shocker. Um, Field 21 needs some work doing on it. It needs slurrying and some other various different things. I have set, um, I've leased a potato harvester, and that's working away on Field 9. I'm not showing that at the moment. Only because I'm going to be doing potato harvest on Drummard Farm in the next episode or two. So what I'm going to do is get all the potato off that field, put it into storage. Then I'm going to show seeding a field using that. And then I will do the potato harvest on that, whichever field I choose. I think it's field four. Um, a few episodes further on. Otherwise it would mean that both potato harvests are going to come right on top of each other on Lawfolds and Drummard. Which is not going to work. But I have done something else. But I haven't done something else. A local farmer, just up the road, uh, called King Royal 21. Interesting name for a farmer, but anyway. Um, had some equipment he said I should try out. So, I'm going to try it out. Um, I've added a little bit of equipment to it, here. But I've also bought a new tractor as well as buying the T7 in the last episode, I bought a new tractor. Now, I can't believe I overlooked this. I, I really can't believe I overlooked this. Um, he messaged me and said, try out this equipment, it's going to work really great if you're going to be doing a lot of slurrying. Um, the Holmer Terra Variant. I, I, the Terra Variant pack, I don't know why I didn't install it. It was on FS15, I used it a lot and I really liked it. There are a couple of drawbacks with it for some of the containers, but the actual tractor itself is a tractor. And that's the cool thing about it, and that's what I completely forgot. It is a tractor. If we go in here to tractors, where it is, the Terra Variant 600 Eco. It's only 249,000, but it's got 598 horsepower. That's, for, for an equivalent horsepower, that kind of 536, you're looking at 450,000, almost double the price for an equivalent horsepower, plus it does everything else that you can do with it. If I come around the back here, it's got a three point linkage, it's got a trailer hook, it can do everything. and. That's what's baffling me. I used this so much in FS15. Now, what's even better still is on FS17, when you buy it, the op options for tyres are standard or twin narrows, which means I can use this for crop work. It's got row crop tyres on it. Um, and that's going to work absolutely brilliantly. So I've bought this, but these are borrowed. I say borrowed. Um, this is leased. I mean, technically, these are leased too. I've, I've leased them from King Royal 21. Um, yeah. If you're watching, there's not going to be any money coming your way. <laughs> it's not like you're going to suddenly get a check in the post. But anyway, follow the narrative. Just go with me on this. Um, so, the theory is, and this is the picture he showed me, Terra Variant with the back container for slurrying. If you add on the slurry tanker, the Zunhammer slurry tanker on the back, you increase the capacity of the both. Now he was just using it as a normal sprayer. But I'm pretty sure if you put the Zuni disc on the back of this, then you're going to be more efficient with your spreading. It may not work, I'm not sure. I do need to go over to the biogas plant, because it suddenly dawned on me as well, having sold 2.8 million litres of um, silage, I must have, well, I, I can't imagine how much slurry there must be, I need to go and check. So we'll go and fill this up and we'll crack on. I mean, I know that looks ugly with those tyres on, it looks way better with the big ones, but all the tractors look ugly with narrow tyres. Um, and technically I don't need them on to do what I'm doing at the moment. Have I got any extra cell? Let me just check. There you go, 376 pounds. Now this has flexible steering modes, which makes it incredibly useful. 
if you haven't used one of these before if you're looking at this going what is that it is available in the mod hub and the cool thing with this if you download the pack just back underneath here and hook it up um, if we go in here um, in tractors is where the actual Holmer Terra variant 600 is but then if you go into there are various different backs <coughs> excuse me if I go into tippers and go right to the end it should be where the mods are uh, no where's the grain trailer oh that's weird or is there a separate there could be I don't know hmm not sure, it's supposed to be in here. Let's have a look at manure spreader. There we go, so we've got the Bergman TSW, that goes on the back of it. We've got the slurry tank, which is in here, that goes on it. Um, there should be, uh, well that's the slurry spreader, that's the manure spreader. Where are the rest of the, is there a loading wagon one? Nope. I'm. Oh, here we go, they're all here. They're in the uh, auger wagons course they are this is by no means this is not a mod review but you know um, so we've got a grain tank which will take grain the only downside and this is what I meant about the downside they are auger wagons so it will unload into that and then you put the pipe out and then you can load into a trailer it's only got a 25,000 litre capacity it's, it was my one complaint on FS15 it needed to be a bigger tank size and then there's a sugar beet overloader as well. But that's got 35,000 litres capacity. That's actually not too bad. Um, but then you're unloading from a sugar beet harvester into this, then into a trailer. So it's technically it's an auger wagon. Um, but there, are, that one's a bit too small, the grain tank. It's just a bit frustrating. Um, yeah, so yeah, the muck spreader, grain trailer, slurry tanker. Yeah, they're all the back snip. So I've put this one on. And what should be able to happen... I've come way too close to the building, haven't I? Let's come around the back here. If I hook the trailer up there... Now comes the fun bit. Haha! <laughs> Trying to get this into position where I can hook this up. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, if I press triangle on the PlayStation controller, I can go from the very back trailer, tractor unit, the above tank, and the trail tank. So those are the, the options I've got available to me. The tractor unit, that one is the above one, that one's the trailed one. It all gets a little bit confusing as long as you make sure you're pressing the right buttons at the right times. Now this is an incredibly long unit, that is the other, only other downside to this is that um, you need a lot of room on the field for this to operate properly I would imagine. So you might be better off just having the actual front, the Homer um, 600 Eco. And uh, having the slurry injector on the back of that, but apparently having this extra tank on will give you much bigger capacity. Actually, I should have my beacons on, really. I'm surprised this back unit hasn't got beacons. Um, it should give me a much bigger capacity. So that's what I'm going to test out. I've just realised actually how pointless it was putting row crop tyres on the. the uh, yeah. <laughs> because um, the trailer hasn't got them on. So it was, it was a pointless exercise for what I'm doing at the moment. Anyway, let's get to the biogas plant. And as you can see, on the left-hand side, the potatoes are being harvested. You can just about see... Oh, trees in the way. Just over the horizon. If I dip down, you can't really see it. But just over there, it's going along quite nicely.
I'm really quite frustrated about the biogas plant. I've just hopped out and come to check. The digestate fill level in this tank is 800,000 litres. That's 100% full. What I'm frustrated about is that the amount of silage I sold, I probably could have had way more than that. Well, yeah, that's full. <laughs> hmm. Don't want to be falling in there. And that looks glistening and... Yeah. Huh. Um, I'm wondering when it reached that fill level, how much more I could have had. It's a pity there's not like an overflow tank. So when you fill this one, it fills up another one. Um, which is quite frustrating. But anyway, it's one of those things. It's full. I mean, it's going to last me quite a while. Um, and while I'm using this, the cows are still going to be making some. And so will the pigs. And so the question is now, how do I fill it up? It says first I need to fill the implement. I don't know which one of these is filling up. I assume that's a double whammy now that's filling both. Now the other one, the large um, slurry spreader, the Amazon um, mine's gone blank. The Amazon uh, takes 30,000 litres. And this is exactly what King Royal 21 told me. This will take 39 and change. 39,500 combined. Which makes it quite a good capacity. How long that will last, I really don't know. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to slurry and cultivate, which means I won't, I got the uh, Valtra with the cultivator over on field 21, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Through the trees, just what we need. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need it. As far as the potatoes go on field 9, the yield isn't huge. It's a fair sized field actually but it's way lower than it would have been had it been ploughed, cultivated, fertilised and all the rest which is pretty much how all the fields have been as I'm kind of buying them up going through the process of ploughing them out and preparing them ready for kind of a maximum yield type deal so over to field 21 we go I'll probably come back and do this field as well when that's, once that's done Unfolding this is going to be interesting. I'm assuming it's that one. Nope, that was detaching it. There we go. <laughs> I know I'd get there in the end. Now I don't know how this is going to work. I'll just set a worker. And let's see how we get on. I assume this is going to drop just as rapidly as it does with any other slurrying equipment. But that is slurrying and cultivating, which means I don't have to cultivate. Over the far side, the Valtra has changed colour. It's not black anymore. I went into customization and changed it. It's kind of like a lime green colour now. Um, only because in low light and at night, you can't even see it. it it's, you know, as a tractor, it looked really cool. For recording, you couldn't see it. How lucky that tree was not real. Um, so we'll see how this gets on for a little bit. It's an interesting setup. Um, if you take the back bit off, the Zuni disc bit off the back, um, it will just spray out like a normal slurry spreader. It will go out in all directions. Um, but. 
It looks like it's got low profile, like alloy wheels. Someone's tuned up my Homer. <laughs> Tunedmyhomer.com. Yeah, Terra Variant. I keep calling it Terra Dos, it's not Terra Variant. Terra Dos. No, don't go through that. <gasps> How fortuitous there's a worker on this. You'll destroy my poplars. Idiot. But it is working. Leave that for a bit to carry on. And I'll go and check on the potatoes again, I think. I've got my first full load of potatoes off of field 9. Which I'm going to unload now. I think I might use the lorry with the bigger trailer. The 59,000 litre one. Mind the trees. Um, I think I can get more in, it'll be less loads, so I've got to do backwards and forwards. And the lorry's quicker. Slurrying is working incredibly well. That bit of kit is brilliant. I'm glad I bought that, the, the Terra variant. I, I can't... I still can't believe I forgot. I know it sounds ridiculous. But it was that kind of option that when you look at the price of it, yes, it's a long bit of machinery. If you stick a trailer on the back of that, or if you stick a, you know... I mean, for ploughing, and I'm just thinking... Some of the bigger ploughs that require 400-plus horsepower, that'll pull the bigger ploughs with the, um, the big bud packed you out. If that's got bigger ploughs, bigger cultivators, that kind of stuff... That kind of thing for the price will be um, well worth its money. So, yeah. King Royal 21, thank you for that. That is going to be an incredibly useful addition to the farm. Put that away in there. And I'm going to go and get the, uh, the lorry now, I think. come back over and I'm really impressed with how much it's done on one tank well two tanks technically um, what I'm going to do is now stop the worker I'm going to fold uh, that up I'm going to go back over to the biogas plant and fill up and come back and then carry on and try and get the rest of I don't know if I'll get the rest of the field done in one I might do if I'm incredibly lucky Poplars still aren't ready. Just thought I'd mention it. Oh, I've also got the uh, case magnum with a plough over on field 9. That's ploughing the field along behind the potato harvester. Um, even if I take this over there, it needs ploughing because it's a new field anyway. So, uh, that's what's going to happen. Beacons on. For the size of this field, the potato yield should have been way higher than it is. So that's why we'll get the prep done, ready for whatever goes in it next. That uh, lorry and trailer combination needs washing after that uh, colossal chaffing job the other day. Um, why did I didn't use that trailer, did I? No. Those crones. This obviously just dirty anyway. What we need is for it to rain. That will wash everything all at once. That will save me having to keep going back towards the jet wash. Fingers crossed for rain. 
I'm thinking of maybe buying another lorry, actually. Truck, if you're American. Um, simply because transporting the ploughs around, it was suggested ages ago, I think it might have been Frag Dad, um, puts his on the back of a low loader because it raises them up high enough that they miss all the hedges and stuff as you go down the lanes. Uh, and if I'm going to have two, maybe three, it makes more sense to get them wherever they're going in one go. It's still that annoying thing that, because it's not PC, if you had the follow me mod, you could just have a whole trail of tractors going wherever they've got to go. Um, but there you go. That's the one downside. Not one downside. There are several downsides, but, you know, um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love my PS4. Been a PS PlayStation gamer since PS1. But um, there are, no, not drawbacks, but differences, obviously. Goes without saying, doesn't it? Oh, I filled up the other the thing as well. I'm whittling away. Yeah, the um, Terra variant is uh, refilled. That's over the field. And that's plugging away again. You can see right the way, way across there in the distance. To truly multitask, I've now come down to field 34. This barley harvest um, has needed doing for absolutely ages. Um, so I'm going to do the harvest on it. I'm going to enable straw swath. Is, well, I've enabled straw swath um, because I do need to do some more straw bales. So I might as well use it. Let's fold that away. So while I've got um, slurrying and cultivating going on field 21, I've got potato harvesting going on field 9 and ploughing along behind it. Once 21's done, I'll move the equipment over. I might change the configuration slightly and have a go on field 9 with a slightly different config configuration. If I can speak properly. Shall I just come over to us a little bit? Um, and we'll see uh, how that all goes. But so far, this is needed doing for a while. Um, I might put wheat, I might put barley in this one. I'm field 9 that I'm halves at the moment, I might put wheat in that one just to mix up the crops a little bit. Just a thought at the moment. Interesting pack. Don't know what's doing that. Right, I will leave her to it. I think it's a sheep. While I'm here at the farm, I've just done an unload um, of potatoes. This needs washing. It really does. I know I'm normally kind of anti all that, but it really does. It is absolutely disgraceful. Look at the state of it. I mean, it'll be dirty again in no time. You watch what's going to happen. I'm going to clean this, and within 10 minutes, it'll be pouring me rain. And just see over in the background, just past the, the cab, the lovely lime green Veltra. So you're not going to miss it. Wow, it's actually shiny underneath all that. Incredible. Who knew? Sparkling. Yeah, look. I like it, that colour. Looks good with the black wheels as well. I mean, that's my opinion. You might hate it, but... I quite like it. Well, let's get back over, because the thing just came up to say he's got a full grain tank. strips left to do. We'll say a few. A few strips left to do. <coughs> you ran out of slurry. 
Um, and I thought rather than go all the way back over and refill it for a few strips, um, I set it. Will it turn into the rest or will it say it's done? I said turn around, that's right. Um, I put the setting on here down to help a refill slurry digestate tank so it's um it's taking it from that invisible interdimensional portal which meant I could just finish off the last bits I had I'm going to take this back through by the store I'm going to get rid of the two back sections and try something else for doing um, the potato field field nine um, I'm going to get the uh, the rear bit that goes on the back of the uh, the Terra variant. It's exactly the same as the Zuni disc on the back of this, but it's just the one for that instead. Um, I think it cultivates as well. Hope so. I'm be really annoyed. But that was just phenomenal what an awesome bit of kit it is quite long <coughs> excuse me and setting up the field doing a couple of headlands and tidying up a few of the bits to get it ready took a little bit of time it's not as quick as using the um, the Amazon I keep saying Amazon. It's not, is it? It's the Venus. I did this last time. Sorry, the Venus. It's not as quick as that. That obviously covers the ground really quickly. But it's something a bit different. Plus, if you're thinking of getting the uh, the Terra variant 600 Eco, get it. Download it. Install that that pack. Even if you just use it as a tractor and don't use any of the backs on it, it's a brilliant, brilliant mod. And it's weird saying it's a mod, because that was... Um, did that come in-game? Or was this a DLC as well? On FS15. I'm racking my brain now. No, it was the Sugar Beet Harvesters, wasn't it? That was, uh, was a mod. Oh, I can't remember what the DLC was now. Anyway, I'm sure people will remember, they'll comment. Um, so, what I'm going to do is return the two rear pieces. So, this and this I know it reduces my capacity but if I had to I could if I really really had to do it again direct from the digest day or to be fair that field, field field 9 is right next to the biogas plant I'll just go and swap um, so yeah this is the one that comes that goes on the back of that this one here but then the one that goes yeah, so I don't know if that's just an injector, I don't know if that's a cultivator. That could be a pain. Oh yeah, a cultivator prepares fields for the next zone. Oh, that's right. Um, so, I'm going to lease that, 960. The Vibro. Oh, a little bit glitchy then. Until I get too close to it. I love this. I love that. That's, that's, that looks so cool. Again, just my opinion. Inside, very good. Very nice mod. Hold more on the seats, as you'd expect. Can't tell if the time's right. Don't think it is. Even if it is, time is it? Was that just the radio settings? Now, I've just realised that I didn't set my timer for my recording. So the first part of that you may have missed. I do like the way that hooks up. The pipe all goes in. And Fantastic. Um, 
this does doing it this way with a single tank makes it a much more compact unit as you might imagine um, yeah if you missed if I did miss the recording which I might well have done I finished off field 9 um, straight from the digestate tank if I didn't miss off the recording you're going to be thinking why is he repeating himself just said that I know It's a big old bit of kit lumbering down the road, isn't it? But it's nice. We have a lot of equipment over here, aren't we? So here we are at field nine. block an object um, and we're ready to go we need to move over just a little bit please cultivate at the same time excellent okay so we are now using the same piece of equipment just the shorter version in field 9 I need to go and move that potato harvester in a second. Um, and that is the end of another episode. Um, yeah, King Roll 21, thank you very, very much. Um, this is a brilliant bit of kit. And if, yeah, I urge you, if you haven't tried it, try it. Um, and if you just want a tractor that does a load of stuff, this is the thing to get. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you found it informative, entertaining, useful, whatever. Even just kill half an hour while you're waiting to go out or whatever. If you liked it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching. <laughs>